Hi, I'm Ann Helmreich, Senior Program Officer in the Getty Foundation, and I manage our online scholarly catalog initiative, or OSCE for short. While I love the look and feel of a printed book, I have to admit there's something pretty sexy about digital publishing. What is really tremendous about it are all the possibilities it offers, especially for museums when it comes to cataloging their collections. Museum catalogs are vital resources, but they're quickly outdated, and they're not very portable, and they can be very expensive for the average reader to buy. Digital is easily portable thanks to all our new devices, but it is more than easy to carry. It can be full of resources that you could never include in a print catalog, such as video and audio clips, zoomable images, and interactive features. And these are not just cool bells and whistles. They are the result of substantial scholarly breakthroughs in our understanding of important artists' works and how they were made. OSCE is an initiative aimed at helping museums make this transition to digital publishing. The Getty Foundation, where I work, is leading a group of nine museums working together to create new models for scholarly collection catalogs in the online environment. If I haven't convinced you already that museums should make digital publishing a priority, the catalogs of several OSCE partners show us five reasons to embrace online publishing now. Reason number one, more timely release of new research. Claude Monet's The Beach at Santa Dress, featured in the Art Institute's OSCE catalog, has long been understood as a painting featuring working class people along the seaside. But new research has revealed that the composition initially included well-dressed figures at the right side of the painting that the artist decided to paint over. Clearly, Monet was at a turning point. Should he stay true to his realist roots and paint the lower classes? Or should he focus on people of leisure, those who might buy one of his works of art? With online publishing, this new discovery doesn't have to wait for the next printed edition of the catalog. It can be released instantly. Reason number two, expanded multimedia content. Digital catalogs can now go far beyond the printed page. They can reconnect the artist's voice with his or her work of art, show historic footage that relates to a painted scene. Tate's OSCE publication for the Camden Town Group includes this example of a film clip showing the hustle and bustle of Piccadilly Circus helping us to understand better the painting of the same London scene by Charles Ginner. Reason number three, enhanced conservation documentation. Museum collection catalogs typically include conservation documentation. These are materials that explain how a work of art was made, guide its ongoing preservation, and record efforts to safeguard it for posterity. But often conservators know much more than they can include in a printed catalog. Finally, with a digital catalog, they can include this enhanced content and at a greater level of detail. As Art Institute of Chicago conservator Kim Yor puts it, we can literally show readers Monet's brushwork through the microscope. Reason number four, interactivity. Digital displays can be interactive, which is perfect for Robert Rauschenberg's hiccups from 1978. It consists of 97 linked drawings that can be zipped together in an infinite number of combinations. The museum that owns the work, the San Francisco Museum of Modern Art, cannot allow visitors to handle the work of art because of its fragility. But their OSCE catalog has an interactive feature that lets us see the full work, then zoom in to see details close up, and then manually scan across its entire span. Reason number five, a direct experience of audio or time-based artwork. The printed page is silent, which does not do justice to works like Robert Rauschenberg's Trophy No. 4 for John Cage, also in the collections of the San Francisco Museum of Modern Art. This piece has an audio component, but now with San Francisco Museum of Modern Art's new OSCE catalog, users can finally hear what it sounds like when the boot strikes a piece of twisted metal. For a work of art that is an homage to one of America's most influential 20th century composers, hearing the sound is arguably as important as seeing the sculptural form. Each of these reasons helps curators and conservators do their jobs to preserve and interpret works of art better, and they help us museum visitors understand our favorite works of art even more. Digital publishing makes it easier to share what we know and love. Thanks to Getty's OSCE initiative, it's all just a click away.